Been three days since summer vacation, man. <laughs> What's the matter? You tired? So I'm getting worried. Let's just see if we can make it until summer. It's like open season around here. Pretty weird stuff. Speaking of weird, got a feel for that guy. Dead girlfriend, bastard case for his sister. Don't you to shut up, asshole. God, what a dick. No. Rick, you look wasted, man. I've been up with Alice. Hey, how's she doing? I uh, saw her last night at the diner. She's blaming herself for Sheila. I don't know how she feels. I'm, I think about Kristen all the time. You know, maybe I could have stopped it if I'd have listened. You mean, uh, Freddy? What else? You ever take a look at our town's history, it's not exactly a safe place to be a teenager. Hey, bozos, let's hustle now. Well, if I'm next, watch your back, man. Where were we? Every society dating back to the ancients has had theories regarding dreams, what they mean, how to control them. Aristotle believed that during sleep, your soul roams free. What it sees are dreams. The skilled dreamers, well, they're able to control what they see. There's, in fact, a myth that there's two gates your soul can enter. One is a positive gate, the other, a negative gate. The key element is that there's a dream master, someone who guards the positive gate and, in fact, protects the sleeping host. Taken all together, they offer a fascinating perspective on ancient history. Now, those of you who don't find it fascinating, you better listen up, because it's going to be on the final. Show yourself, Kruger. Well, how's this for balance? Fire! 